top three on the day. Stefan Kung in third place with a mightily good result, Robbie. A yeah, very good result for Kung, first race of the season, first time trial, new bike, coming off that terrible accident he had last year, late in the season. This is a really good result for Stefan Kung. He went close. He, well, when he came through, things were looking really rosy. But there were some big guns to come. Third place then for Kung in his first time trial of this year. Second place for a really good Magnus Sheffield. We've already seen him win time trials before, two of Denmark being a case in point. But whatever's been worked on in this company, this is a super result for the young American. A very good res result for Sheffield. No, we didn't have him up with the, the you know, top favourites for this TT, but he's obviously come into the season in very good form and used it to good effect. But then there's this man. The top favorite of the top favorite. And here he is. Not just among the Belgians. The world champion, of course. He flew home, did Dave Nepal. Talked about that work he was doing on his holidays, remember, in the wind tunnel in Los Angeles. Well, it's paid off. The legs are accompanying as well. It's another victory in the career of Remco Evenepoel. It's the first of the season against the clock. Second in a week in Portugal. He's flying already. He's flying and so much incentive to do it. The stage win, the leader's jersey, his first win in the Rainbow Stripes as time trial world champ. Had it all again. This man, he defended valiantly as best he could. Danny Martinez, the winner of stage two and the Colombian national time trial champion riding in the leader's jersey, but he knew all the way along that that was being ripped away by Remco Evenepoel, giving up 51 seconds on the day. And he hasn't ridden a bad time trial. Remco Evenepoel has ridden a fantastic time trial, and Martinez becomes one of the victims. Two wins in a week for Remco Evenepoel. Bit more aero than that. There was nothing slowing him down. Interesting. Well, the only accident. time he could have used the parachute was after the finish line. Throw it out like a drag car. Well, he's been going for the win for three of his five days of competition. Take the two sprint stages away. He's finished first, second, and first. It's a sensational start to the season for a man who. Well, we've come to expect sensational things from. And all ahead of his first ever appearance at the Tour de France. And, and uh, yeah, I'll mention that again. I was doing a little bit of research. He's never ridden a race in France. Incredible. That's, that's quite incredible. It really is. Two days 